Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. If you're one of the thousands of people setting up an online store with Shopify, you're probably enjoying the process thanks to Shopify's great features and how easy it is to use. One aspect of setting up a store you may not be enjoying is the setting up of the shipping prices and options. Many online sellers look at the shipping features in Shopify and think it doesn't have the options they need. But keep in mind there are over 200,000 merchants currently selling on Shopify, so the shipping can be customized for pretty much anyone. It's a bit of an art though because every business is different. There's various origin locations, product weights and sizes, and different shipping carrier preferences that all make shipping settings unique to each seller. So let me show you the options and give you some insight on how to think about shipping for your own store. So first things first, you gotta find the shipping setting. So if you're in the dashboard of your Shopify store, you can go to settings at the bottom of the left-hand menu, click on settings and then shipping, and that's gonna take you to the shipping settings for your store. Now I'm getting a warning in this store and it says some of your product variants are missing weights. So keep in mind that you will need to have weights for your products if you wanna use any type of weight-based shipping. So on this shipping page, I'll go through these options. Keep in mind, I'm not telling you exactly how to set up shipping on your site, but just showing you the options. Like I said, it's gonna be different for everybody. So the first thing to set is your shipping origin, and this is important because it's gonna be used to calculate rates. So first set your address, and this would generally be your business address or where you're shipping from. The next section is zones and rates. So I believe by default, uh, there will be a United States zone if that's where your account was created from and then the rest of the world so zones are basically regions that you're going to ship to and so the simplest option would be to use the default zones if you're in the u.s just have rates for shipping to the u.s i have had clients who set up different rates for different regions of the u.s which you may need to do but obviously that's going to become more complicated so to add a shipping zone you can click add shipping zone and then you can add the zone name, which for most people is going to be a region, maybe a region of the United States, a continent, a country. So whatever your shipping zone is, you can name that here. And then after you name your zone, you can then add the countries that are in that zone. And I already have United States in another zone, which I'll show you. But if you wanted to add certain states or certain provinces in Canada, uh, you would check Canada, click add. And then you can actually go back to Edit Canada and select the provinces that are in that zone. So you can do the same thing for U.S. states. So I went back to the Shipping Settings page. I'm going to go ahead and click on the U.S. zone and click Edit. And then similar to Canada, you can click Edit. And then I could turn off certain states within the U.S. And this would be useful in the U.S. if you don't want to ship to certain territories within the US um, that are not within the continental US like Virgin Islands armed forces so now we're in the United States zone and then below the countries here you see the different rate options that Shopify gives us so the first one is price based so this is determined by the order price so the first thing you do is give this a name so normally for the name, you'd want to use the carrier like UPS or FedEx and the type of shipping like FedEx Ground or UPS Next Day or something like that um, because this is what people are going to see at checkout. So you want to describe what they're selecting and I'll show you this in a checkout example. But here you can select the range. So you might, for example, say $50 to $100 has a specific rate. So I'll just put, for example, UPS ground and say the shipping rate is $10 for any order between $50 and $100. And again, these are just examples. One time that this price-based rate comes in handy for a lot of sellers is when they want to use a free shipping rate. So for example, if you have a store and you want to give free shipping to anyone over uh, with an order over $500, you can say $500 minimum price and then just leave the maximum price blank and then click free shipping so that will automatically in the store give free shipping to anyone who orders over five hundred dollars and then you could put that uh, you could publicize that on your site you know as a, a special offer so that's a great way to use price-based shipping the next method is weight-based shipping which a lot of people will use and this is where it does require you to set that uh, weight option in all your products 
and then you'd give the uh, shipping rate a name. So again, I'll just use UPS ground as an example. And then you would just put in minimum order weight and a maximum order weight. So if we left it at zero to 25 pounds, and again, we're within the US, so this would mean anywhere within the US up to 25 pounds, I'm, I can ship, let's say for $15, and I can just click done. And it puts that rate in there. Then I might wanna add another rate, which could be 26 pounds to 50 pounds, for example. And that might be $30 and this would still be UPS ground. And actually in this case, you probably would wanna use 25.1 because uh, Shopify will allow decimals here. So if I use 25.1, that would then cover me if I'm above 25, between 25 and 26. But this depends on the weights you put in your um, products. You may never have decimals if you're not using decimals. So this would be the correct way to set it up though. A great way to utilize weight-based rates is in conjunction with the U.S. Post Office uh, flat rate boxes. So if the weight of your products is fairly consistent and you know how much weight you can fit into different flat rate boxes, it's a great way to um, offer a, a lower cost for your customers. So for example, if you know you can fit 15 pounds in a medium flat rate box, we could just call this post office flat rate and if you know you can fit up to 15 pounds typically in like a medium flat rate box for example and that box always costs $15 then you can offer that as a rate to your customers and it may often be cheaper than a calculated rate or a price based rate that you're offering. So speaking of calculated rates that's the last rate option that's given to you in shipping and calculated rates are offered in any level Shopify account uh, through the post office and you actually get discounted rates up to 12 to 15 percent off of uh, regular post office rates you'd get just walking into a post office in the United States. So here's an example of the uh, cheaper rates they're offering right now and they go down based on which plan you're on. So this is basic plan with Shopify uh, and then the Shopify plan and then advanced Shopify. If you go up to the advanced Shopify plan which is $299 a month currently. Among other things, you get a third-party calculated shipping rates, which means you can use UPS and FedEx, uh, link up to your account with those uh, carriers and calculate rates. But post office shipping calculated rates is included, as you can see here, with all three uh, types of accounts. So with the post office calculated rates, you can change which types of shipments you offer, which type of services you offer, and you can uncheck them here. So by default, they're all checked first class, priority, um, and then you can automatically offer new services as they're made available. And then the only other adjustment you can make is changing um, the percentage and adjusting the percentage of the shipping up or down. And then you can also add a flat fee, which could cover handling for each order, for example. So those are all the shipping rate options available in a single zone. Keep in mind, if I go back to the shipping options page, I haven't even looked at the uh, rest of the world international. So you could set up different rate options for these different uh, zones and regions, states, however you want to set it up. And if I scroll down the rest of the shipping page, there's a shipping label printing option so that uh, Shopify can print labels for you and, and just bill you with your regular invoice. You can save typical packages, which uh, Shopify would use to calculate shipping. And I believe it would only be if there wasn't a weight available in your account, in your products. And then there's other shipping options, the custom carrier accounts, which require the advanced Shopify plan. And then other drop shipping and fulfillment services. So once you have all the shipping options set up, I think the best way to see if it's gonna work for you is, is create some sample carts. So add some different products to your cart and then go all the way to the checkout page where you're gonna to need to enter the shipping address so that uh, the cart can actually calculate shipping and then click continue to shipping method and then see how your shipping methods display here because that's what the customer is gonna see. So in this account I've been working and it's only showing me the US post office calculated rates that we just went over. So if I were to go back into the US zone and add a price base rate for any 
order over five dollars free shipping and then save that I should be able to go back to the cart and see it so yeah I refresh the cart and you see now there's a free shipping option so then most of your customers would choose that you could give a longer description here like free shipping for over whatever price you want and then your customers can choose that if you were to have UPS options or other options like the flat rate one I mentioned maybe that's going to be cheaper and then your customers can check that so all the options that you select that fall within the parameters of this order will show under shipping method so that covers all the shipping options for Shopify hopefully that helps you brainstorm uh, how you're going to do shipping on your site and then just understand what Shopify offers if you have any questions make sure to check out the Shopify help documents they are very helpful I've used them a lot myself Feel free to comment on this video if you have any questions or just can't figure something out. I'd be, I'd be happy to uh, answer it as best I can. I'm sure other people would as well who have already um, set up some shipping options or are working on it themselves. I'll definitely be doing more Shopify videos, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any in the future. And like this video, please, if you found it useful so that more people can find it. So we'll see you on the next video.